Yeah. Let me say it again. I'd like to hear that again. May I? Do you, Roblin Live? I ask you, do you, Roblin Live? You do? Do you, Roblin Live, is the question out there in Radio Land. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> That's an early elbow. We're off and running. Okay. Moving around the place. I'm moving around the place. Welcome. All right. Well, we're streaming on, uh, we are live streaming on YouTube. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Miss Nakamoto, but I think I see YouTube on your phone. I see O-Connect on the computer, so I think we're off and running. What do you think? Yes. All right. All right. It's day 109er or 109 in year two of 474 consecutive Roblin Lives. Not too shabby. Cherry. Ooh. This is the 12th day of December in the year 2023, and you're watching, you're listening to the Roblin Live Network's presentation of Roblin Live and Ali. The Wonder Dog. That's true. That's true. All right. Now, let's talk about what we're doing here. We are live streaming to the, our YouTube channel through the courtesy of Mr. Ash Mafara and On Passive. <clears throat> so, if you're on YouTube... Boom, you can watch us. If you're on YouTube and you're not an, in the OES, what are you waiting for? Just go to roblinlive.ai. That's our domain. You can go to the roblinlive.ai domain and you can register. You can register for three free products. It's Omail Oneto Trim and away you go. You can join us on OConnect when it's just OConnect and have a ball. What do you think of that? Sounds good. All right. Three free products. All you got to do is register. It's uh, easy peasy. You sign up and get an O-mail. You can make it uh, like uh, Robert at O-mail.ai. Boom. Very easy. Easy peasy. So that's why we're doing this for the first 30 minutes. Then after we do that, we come across just on O-Connect. So uh, we'll do the Ollie contest in just a few minutes. And once we do the Ollie contest, we'll swing on over to O-Connect. We'll announce the winners there. And then we're off to the races with a presentation about planning and you. Do you, Roblin Live? Do you, Roblin Live? And planning and you is our topic tonight. It's going to be lit. L. I-T-T-T, -t -t, lit, just like the Hanukkah candles, lit. All right, 10 a.m. today brought along Marty DeGarmo and Chris Johnson. They had a guest on today, as they do. I guess that's the new thing. They have a guest every day from the uh, attendees and uh, future panelists or whatever you want to call them. They're all on Passivians. They're all, I would say they're all at least uh, affiliates. And they're founding affiliates if they've taken hold and gotten the subscription. So there. Yeah. 8 p.m. Uh, oh, wait a minute. 12 noon brought you uh, Straight Talk with Rob and Lynn. Today was Tuesday, Tuesday for Rob and Lynn. 
Then at 8 p.m., we are on the eastern side, really on the eastern side of 8 o'clock now. And uh, the Rob Lynn Live Network is proud and proud as can be to bring you the wonder dog known as Ali. The wonder dog. Where we also do you, Rob Lynn Live, do you, Rob Lynn Live. All right, all right, all right. We start out on O-Connect, as we told you. We stream it on YouTube channel, compliments of Mr. Mafara. And after Where's Ollie's Boy Contest, as we mentioned, we'll move over to Strictly O Connect. Strictly O Connect. And after a short presentation, we will have community time. Now, this is catching on all over the globe. We've got people from India, Pakistan, Philippines, sunny Singapore. Thailand, United States, all parts of Europe, whether it be UK or France or Germany or Spain. It's good stuff. So come on over and join us on O-Connect. After you've subscribed, come over to O-Connect and we'll have a presentation. We'll have the Ollie Boy contest. We'll have the presentation. Then we'll have community time. And that community time can go anywhere from doggies. Uh, one and a half hours to two and a half hours to three and a half hours to four and a half hours. It just depends on you guys. That's where we ask you just to type in the chat. Me, 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 me. Yeah, that's all you got to do. do. Type me, 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 me in the chat and we'll bring you on the panel. Please. Pray for Ash, his lovely wife, Ashma Han, and their two handsome young men known as uh, Omar and Yusuf, as well as the tech, media, and support teams around the globe for their good health and safety. Please, 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 prayer warriors, get out, get out there and get after it. Please pray for Ash which we mentioned, please also send out your love, light, and prayers to all who may be ill. There may be some ill folks out there and may be injured folks out there. Send out your love, light, and prayers to all who may be ill or injured for a complete and speedy recovery. Please, we have some announcements. We'll hold the announcements till we go to Strictly O Connect. So for now, I think we're going to say a few hellos or are we going right to the alley contest? Either way. Let's say a few hellos. Okay. You're in charge of hellos. All right. So in the YouTube chat. How many people are on YouTube? Just curious. We've got 43. That makes 74 with everybody on O-Connect. Thank you very much, everybody. You all are Roblin living it. We appreciate it. And those of you who are in YouTube are seeing our um, Michael Chata's beautiful emoji composition, and it has the link to this O-Connect webinar. So if you are not on O-Connect right now, you should be. All you got to do is click on that link that's been, it's pinned in the YouTube live chat. And in the live chat, I see we have Mohammed Simone. Good morning to you. Levi Mama Bo is here. We also have Mr. Sanjay Paswan. Vinod Kumar Bing is here with us. Tanuja Momin, good morning. Hello, India. Waking up with Roblin live. We, we have, love it. Mm -hmm. We got Wadida Slack in the house. Right. And Chandan Majumdar, hello to you. Diane Michaud is over there on YouTube. And we also see Sina. How are you, Sina? Sina in the house. She's helping us post in Facebook today. Thank you so much. We also want to say hello to Rao Saheb Pandav. He's always with us. Thank you so much. Hello to Pat Parent. Hi, Pat. Pat Parent in the house on YouTube. Yeah, mm -hmm. baby. Hello to Greg Miller. How are you? Jose Lucio is here. Maria Lopez. Hello. We also have Darmendra Mali with us. Hello, Darmendra. Shishen Das, hello, how are you? And we have, let's see, Sukhdev Sutradar. <coughs> hello, Sukhdev. 
Hello to Rowdy Boys. That's a cute name. And hello to Chancho Ali. And let me scroll down a bit. Irena Stexalis here. First girl in the house. All right, Irena. Glad Aj you're here. Aja Ib Singh. Hello. I'm going to finish up. Rachel Violet. Rachel Violet is here. Love you. Hi, Anna. Rachel. Thank you for helping us today with Facebook. Really, really help a lot. Thank you. And we have Bina Sahu here. How are you, Bina? Uh, let me see if I got everybody. I'll make sure I got everyone. David Lavelle. Hi, David. David Lavelle in the house. Hi, David. Cecil Weir. Hello. How are you? Hi, Cecil. Thank you for being here. Thank, thank you. you thank here. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we have Ramu. Bukya Ramu. How are you? Good to have you here as well. Monir Holstein is here. Hi. Francis Tay is in the house. And while we greet him, we want to thank him for his super sticker thank you francis very kind of you to pass on that super sticker we love you brother and let's see today was tuesday here so it was a beautiful oes training at 0800 hours eastern time francis and the crew it was michelle comstra doing a dynamite presentation as well as chris tiazone about o connect they are a tag team group extraordinaire so excellent training and if you missed it you can catch it probably tomorrow the next day in the oes classroom club yes you should definitely join the club it's the oes classroom training club in onet go for it and join it then you, you get to see the uh, recordings if you miss the lives we want to say hello to jawala vikash welcome and jacqueline nakopoulos is here Hi, Jacqueline. She's been here every night. Yeah, she has been. Appreciate you. Sanju Dada, Jadhav is here. All right, Sanju Dada. And we also have, let's see, let me scroll down a bit. Yakaya Kadem is here. Yakaya, hello to you. Thank you for being here. Sumit Remix is here. All right, Sumit. As well as Kumar Nepal. Welcome to Kumar. Good to have you here. Gurnam Singh is here. Hello, Gurnam. We have Durba Thapa here as well. I don't want to miss anybody. Well, we need to do the Alley Boy contest when yeah. you're ready. Hello to Ila Sue. You're here with us all the time. We appreciate you. Thank you. Chris Tizan is here. Thank you, Chris. Joni Saini he is here as well. Quite a few. We have Balihu Pushpin Media, who is Sharon Whedon. She's Whedon here. my garden tonight. Yes, she's here. Ralston McKenzie, hello. Lovely to have you with us tonight. <coughs> and we have Mahin Drakar Srinivasa. Welcome. Juliana Mbambo is here. Hi, Juliana. Lovely to have you. And I think I got everyone for now. Well, all righty. Thank you, Ms. Nakamoto. Let's go over to the presentation board. If we could show everybody where Ali is. And tonight we have uh, <coughs> Miss Melanie Marcano. Oh, yeah. Melanie's in charge. Thank you, Melanie. She's going to tell us where Ali Boy is after we have done been done with guesting. And she's also going to tell us who the winners are. So let's wait for her. And what we're eating. Mm, true, true. All right, let's go to the presentation board, if we may. Here. Thank you. And you, and we'll remain quiet while you look at it. And when we're done, you'll be able to hear us again. Okay. Very well done. All right. We're back. You've now seen the background. Hopefully everybody got a chance to take a peeky poo at it. Mm -hmm. And let's now see what guesses we have in the chat, please. Alrighty. Oh, got to ring the bell. Can you ring the bell? I can ring the bell. Grandma Bobby's cowbell. bell. bell. 
I don't do it quite as well as Ms. Nakamoto, and but you're going to you, have that. Yeah, those of you who are not yet at our Old Connect webinar, you might want to hop on over. The link is in the live chat so that you can see who the winners are and who guessed correctly. All right, let's look at the guesses now. All right. Um, who's going to be the first to guess? It is Frank Rowe. Shocker there. Frank Rowe says his guess is the Republic of Malta. Irena says, I would say Malta because of the food, but not so sure at all. Patricia Green says Spain, France, or England. Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? Come, come on on with the guesses. More guesses, s'il vous plaît, please. Mm -hmm. People are saying hi. Um, nice guess says Frank to Irena, because she gets Malta as well. All right, come on, bring those guesses on. Isabel Bailey says Malta. Brenda Ross wants to say good evening, Rob, Lynn, and Ollie Boy. Ollie Boy. <laughs> yes, indeed he do. Okay, any other guesses? Not yet. Okay. Angela says hi, Brenda. Sadananda says, England. Hmm, could it be? Don't know. Any more guesses? Ah, oh boy. What wasn't, was, Irena says, was, was sure, something, wasn't sure. Thank you for your confidence. All right, all right, all right. I think that wraps up the guesses, does well, it not? Is, is that it for guesses, you guys? Kind of short on the list. <laughs> Any other guesses? Last call for guesses before we go to O Connect. All right. Let's see if any we got any more guesses within the O Connect session. Um, okay, Momoda says I'm going for Malta too as my guess. Angela Leland says Spain. All right. Um, Malta has been the consensus. So Angela far. Leland says Texas. So her, I guess she has two guesses, Spain uh, and then Texas. Texas, okay, mm -hmm. kind of Alamo-ish looking. Mm -hmm. All right, any other guesses? Mm -hmm. Come on, folks, bring your guesses in. We're going to close it out soon. No more guesses? All right, it's a wrap on the guesses. <laughs> and uh, Don and, Swihart says, I was thinking. Oh, well, go ahead. Keep thinking, Don. <laughs> and... Uh, Momoda says, hello, Brother Frank, good to see you, dear. And Badrul, Badrul is here saying good morning to us. Hi, Badrul. And Don's White Heart's guess is Spain. Spain and Malta are the two guesses. All right, let's go in three. Oh, wait, first we want to make sure we offer them the um, domain. Oh, <laughs> you need to know the domain if you're not already subscribed. It's roblinlive.ai. And it is also posted in the YouTube uh, chat at the it very is. top. Yeah, it's right there for you. But it's so easy to remember. And again, it is roblinlive.ai. Roblinlive.ai. And you want to click it because it will take you to a world of three free products to begin with. Oh, Melo Nero trim. Oh, Melo Nero trim. Yeah. In order to enjoy those free products, you need to click that link. I mean, go to that domain, which is roblinlive.ai. Could we have it one more time? roblinlive.ai. That's, right. That's our it. domain. Mm -hmm. Well, all righty. I think it's about that time now. We're going to roll on over to O Connect exclusively in three, in two, in one. Take it away, Lynn. I think that. Take it away, Lynn. I think it stopped. Let me make sure it stopped. Oh, okay. Did it stop? Um. It says, or still, so maybe I have to click the thing. I thought uh, the second host would do it. Okay, here we go. This is it, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so it's already stopped. That's why it says that. Okay. All right. Well, welcome to Connect Everybody. I assume everybody here is a non-passivian and an affiliate and a fellow brand ambassador. There's an old name, brand ambassador. Mm -hmm. We hope you like the Ali song. Did we want to play Ali song one more time or no? Go um, ahead. Maybe later. How's that? I just want to make sure the live stream stops. Okay. Chris, our second host, can you make sure it stops? Because I couldn't stop it. On my Chris, side. can you tell us if the uh, live stream stopped? We can't tell at this end. It still seems to be going. Can you stop it, Chris? He'll help us with that. Okay. Okay, it stopped. All right, it stopped. You know that or Chris it's, told you? No, it's a streamed one minute ago. All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, indeedy do. We've got a lineup for you tonight. But first, we're going to tell you, we're going to have Mel Marcano come in. Mel Mel, uh, come in on that uh, link, please. And tell us all about the virtual background, please, Mel Mel. Okay, first, we got to um, want to make sure we can see, hold on, the layout. You know, the gallery view, speaker view. There it is. So it should be the gallery view. There we go. We got Melanie right there. Melanie Marcano, come on in and talk to us. You can yeah. Hello. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, one second. Okay. So. The Grand Master's Palace Courtyard, it is a place in Valletta, Malta, and is officially known as the Palace. It was built between the 16th and 18th century, centuries as the Palace of the Grand Master of the Order of St. John, who ruled Malta from 1530 to 1798. Presently, the palace is the seat of the office of the presidents of Malta. The Grand Master's Palace is the most visited site in Heritage Malta's portfolio, welcoming around 300,000 visitors each year. Rob and Lynn are both savoring Capunata, Maltese Ratatiol. <laughs> Ratatiol, right. Tioli. This is a Maltese dish that is very similar to the French rata tiol. It is a stew made with eggplant, zucchini, bell peppers, and tomatoes. That's my food right there. The vegetables are cooked in olive oil until they are soft and then seasoned with garlic, salt, and pepper. Cupanata or capunata is a popular and rather healthy food in Malta with a mix of vegetables. It is often served as a dish, a side dish actually, or as an appetizer. You can also have it with fresh, warm bread. Mm. Oli is munching on lamp lampulki pie. <laughs> <laughs> this is traditional Maltese dish made with fish and potatoes. The pie is usually served with a side of vegetable or salad. The pie is usually served with a side of vegetables or salad. Lampuki is the Maltese name for mati, mahi, or dorado, or dorado, whatever it's called. Okay. okay. So that's about it. And um, they migrate through the Maltese Peninsula. Okay, I'll leave that out. Many restaurants cook the meaty lamb puki on its own or to perfection. And then we have congratulations to all those who got it right. So it's Frank, Irina, Isabel, and Momodu. And to all those who tried, Remember, we all are winners. And thank you for participating in the Roblin Lives Contest. It's a W right here. All right. Thank you, everybody, for that. We appreciate it. We're now on O-Connect. As we said, we are live coming to you high atop the studios.
in Tampa Bay, Florida. It's the Roblin Live's network presentation of Roblin Live and Ollie. You're supposed to Ollie. I said Wonder Dog. Ollie. Yeah, the Wonder Dog. I think I just got fired for about the 15th time. All right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, could we have the prompter up, please, so I can do my thing? Sure. Thank you. I uh, know the prompter is over here. Okay. Yeah. It's over there. Okay. I knew the prompter was somewhere. <laughs> here we go. We need a little scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up to announcements. Scrolling down. Or down to announcements. All right, let's talk announcements. Let's talk things you already know about. We did the on passive checklist today at noon, and everybody seemed to enjoy that. So let's uh, remind everybody again migration without hesitation is what you do. Sign your NDA, log into your OES daily at least once to stay current on affairs of the day. Log into your alternate emails. Now get this, log into your alternate emails at least once every so often to stay current. No, 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 no. Let's back the bus up. Log into your alternate emails to make sure they're active for the O-Verify one-time password is coming your way very soon and you want to be able to get that otp and plug it in so you can verify yourself it's easy peasy it's going to keep the riff and the raft out from on passive it's a good thing it's for everybody's protection that's a good thing and there's another new website it's baby blue or actually it's navy blue today dark, dark midnight blue. like i said it's midnight dark blue today Check out this week's new website at onpassive.com. Check out the On Passive YouTube channel at, uh, 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 let's see, that would be YouTube On Passive YouTube. It's On Passive channel. Channel, okay. Check it out, check it out, check it out. There's longs, there's shorts, there's mediums, and there's very shorts for 30 seconds or less. Check it out, kids. And while you're at it, if you're on Twitter, formerly Twitter, now X, you'll see Muhammad Nazal seems to have a good presence there, and he's blasting it out there, blitzing it out there about on passive. If you know of someone who needs help, yipper, you know the drill. Helping one helps us all. Okay. Get on an O-Connect as a host, co-host, speaker, or panelist, please, please, please. You need to know the ins and the outs. You need to know where to click when someone asks you a question. You need to know where to click when someone wants to come to the panel. It's just, you can't, you can't sell it if you don't know it. Okay. You got to know it to show it, I guess is my favorite phrase. You got to know it to show it. All right. All right. All right. Where are we going next? Let's see. Attend, uh, time permitting, any webinars or chats of your choice. Okay. There's a lot of them out there. Choose wisely. Choose the ones where you may know the people, like the people, maybe not like the people, but they've got good information. Just go there and enjoy. Okay. All right. Now, now we're going to talk a little bit about tonight's topic. Is that okay with you? Yep. That's good. It's okay to start on that? Yeah, All right. Tonight's topic happens to be planning and you. Do you, Roblin Live? Do you, Roblin Live? I know you do. Yeah. All right. Tonight's Ollie Boy, the Wonder Dog question is all about planning. Are you a detailed planner? When you sit down and you decide what you're going to accomplish, do you plan it out? Are you a detailed planner? where you have the ins, the outs, and the not-so-far-out stuff all there together in a planner. Tonight's topic is planning in you. So to be successful in your personal life or even in your business world life, like here at On Passive, planning is crucial. Why do we say planning is crucial? Because it helps you get organized. And you mentioned tonight I was organized about something. I forget. That. They've been the shopping list. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were good with that. I knew what we were getting. We got some bok choy tonight. We got some garlic. 
What else Gin did we get? Did we get um, sesame oil? Sesame oil, ginger, and one other oil. Uh, what's it? Avocado oil? Avocado oil. And that's for making a wonderful little bok chow salad. So, so we're going to try that a little bit later yeah. this evening uh, before 1 a.m. Because as I've been told time and time again, your time uh, clock resets from 1 to 3. So my time clock definitely needs to reset <laughs> for sure. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Effective planning not only helps you get organized, it helps you focus and for sure keeps you on track. And you want to be on track when you're trying to get to a certain goal or set a certain point. When it comes to planning, here's what you must do. Let's talk about a few things about planning, shall okay. we? Okay. All right, set clear goals. Use the SMART method, S-M-A-R-T. Now, what does all of that mean? Specific for S, M is measurable, A is achievable, R is relevant, and T is time bound. So, make it SMART. Make your planning SMART. Make it matter. Make it mean something. That's the way we do things here at On Passive. Take larger goals, trim them down a little bit so they are even more manageable. You don't have to take a big chunk of the whole planned goal setted thing. You can prioritize and you can take smaller bites out of the apple, as they say. And to do the most important things first, maybe? I was just coming to that. Thank you. Okay. Could we go up a bit or down a bit? Prioritize tasks. Pick out the most important things to get done. Put them in the proper order and do them from the most important to the not so important. Not too shabby. Cherry. Use a planner on or tools for planning. Whether you use a physical planner a digital one online or however you want to use digital on a computer, on a, a smartphone or not so smartphone uh, or a combination. Just do it. J D I just do it. Please plan, plan, plan. So you can reap, reap, reap the rewards. Flexibility. All right. We've talked about this over the last four or five nights. It, it keeps coming up. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adapt whenever you're planning your strategy and carrying it out as well. So be open to adapting circumstances beyond your control. There's stuff you can't control. There's stumbling, rumbling, dumbling blocks, whatever you want to call them, that may be thrown at you where you need to stop, take a deep breath, or maybe two deep breaths and think about where you're going next. Okay. Flexible and adaptability. There's new information that comes along. So be ready to hop on board with that. You can do it. It's easy. It's peasy. It's made for you. Review, review and reflect. Always review any of your progress, please. It's very important. You don't want to leave any stone unturned. You want to make sure you covered the, the bases. You dotted the I's. You crossed the T's. Oh, I got that right for the first time. If need be, all right, reassess your goals. If you're not getting where you want to be, there's likely a reason. And all you have to do is think about it. Take a deep breath. Think about your successes and learn from any failures you might have. It's easy. Just do it the asthma far away. You just pick up yourself from your with, by your bootstraps and away you go off on another part of your journey. Here's another important point, And this one, take it to heart, please. Communication. Make sure communication is involved, that you make yourself clear. Don't be all fuzzy, buzzy, wuzzy. Be clear on how you collaborate and how you communicate, collaborate, communicate, they go together. It's the only way to be successful. And you know it, you know it, because you've had a little flip flops here and there, and you know what to do to straighten that out. 
Then there's balance. Ooh, doggies. Where it's let's talk a bit about balance. Mm -hmm. Do not overcommit. Do not say you've got a deadline of June 1st, 2024, where you're gonna do such and so. Uh-uh. That's not how you do it. Go for a balance where you can balance in work, which is what you're doing there with your goals, your personal life, which eh, may take a back seat occasionally, but doesn't need to. And self-care, take care of yourself. Now, tomorrow night, we're going to take that self-care thing one step further with your healthy body. We're going to be going there. And I remember that. So we're one step ahead. We're a day ahead in terms of what we're going to be talking about. Uh, and then tomorrow, oh, that'll be on Thursday. Then tomorrow will be a uh, Wednesday event. And that will feature at 10 o'clock, likely Martin DeGarmo, Marty DeGarmo and Chris Johnson. And then at 2 p.m., 1400 hours Eastern Standard Time, I would look for the three amigos. Do we know if Ash Mafar is going to be there? No. Are we going to speculate? Absolutely not. So we'll see. Maybe we'll hear from Ash tomorrow. That would be great news prior to the 15th. Come on, Ash. Come on, Ash. All right. Take feedback. All right. Don't be afraid of feedback. Don't be afraid of constructive criticism. It's okay to hear from your peers, hear from the people you collaborate with, hear from your family, hear from your friends. You can take it. Just listen, listen, keep an open ear, and this will improve the entire processes. It will, it will include, include the entire process. So as we say every night, we are one family. We are one team of pros. We are one massive movement. And most importantly, one on passive. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Hopefully, you got a little bit of value, just a teeny-weeny bit from that. <clears throat> we will uh, take questions as we go. We're also going to open up the floor to community chat, probably in about four or five minutes. But we'd like to say a few more hellos while we're at it, if, if you may, Miss Nakamoto. Okay. Thank you. Um, I, I need to check for something, if you don't mind. I'll just go ahead and say she sent it. That's fine. We, she's wanted to check. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let me, uh, while Lynn is checking into something with, with, with Miss Milet, Miss Milet, I obviously YouTube and I Rob Lynn live. Oh my goodness. Uh, hello to Mayor. Mayor will be joining us. I'm sure on the panel tonight. Uh, he's our pharmacist friend from sunny India. We love that guy. And uh, let's see. Irena is going to say good night at 9 p.m. That's okay. Uh, Michael Chatta is saying hello to the one and only fire, fire, fire lady, that Carmela Schwartz girl. Hello, Carmela. And let me see. Hi, Radha. By my, uh, Bay my air. And there's Michael Chatta again. And let me scroll. Karina, 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 Karina. She's here as well. Uh, let's see. I'm scrolling, scrolling. Why is this thing bouncing? Because you got to pause it. You can use the one here on the, the screen. Okay, I just spotted it. Might be it. easier for you. And there's Brenda Rose. Yes, it would be easier on the screen, if I may. Okay, Mayur, we mentioned. And Brenda Rose, Cena, Carmella, we mentioned, and away we go. Oh, Katie P is here. Hello, Katie. Thank you for being here. Frank Rowe in the house. Hello, buddy. First boy all the time. That guy knows his stuff. Brenda Ross. Hello, Brenda. Glad you're here. Joe Ginder is here as well. Uh-oh. Sharon. Coo, 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 coo. Sharon Koo is in the house. We're glad you're here, Sharon. And Dawn Swihart is here. Hopefully she brought along DL with her. I'm sure she must have. And I said hello to Sina, Sarananda. There's Mayur again. Irena. Let's go, go, go. 
Uh, there's Sharon and Dawn and Mobumbuo. Mobumbuo. Hello to you. And I said hello to Joe Ginder, Joe Ginger. And let's keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Radha is here as well. And uh, there's Michael Chatta. Mohammed uh, Rafek is here. Hello, Mohammed. Glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you for all you're doing for On Passive and for us as well. Ooh, where are we going next? Let's see. There's Sina and Mohammed again. Michael Chatta. Come on, Robert. Brenda Ross, Cena, why is this? I, I clicked on it. Spot. Okay. Now it's going to stop. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Got it. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. All righty. There's 55 of you kids here tonight. And hello, Rob and Lynn, sending love, love, love from sunny Singapore. And that's the one and only Sharon. Woo! It's easy for us here in Cameroon. Too much connection, connection problems. Brother, it's going to get better. Trust me, it's not going to get worse. It's only going to get better with on passive on your side. Right. And there's Brenda again. And Belas is here. Hello, Belas. Karina, Karina again. Wow. Wee doggies. Let's see. Mel Mel is here. Mel Mel. And uh, Brad Ha, I said. Katie P, I said. Sean Swihart. I think I could. Christia Zone, of course, is here. And have I missed anybody? Uh, if I have, I'm sure they're going to tell me. Yeah, I think I've got everybody. Let me go back. Oh, Muhammad Zishan is here. And Pat Green is in the house. Patricia Green and our friend from the East Coast of Florida, Mr. Roy Davies, is here. Uh, Chris Tiazo, Michael Chatta, Brenda, Irena, Antoinette in the house. Leg Dega. All right, Legdega, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. And there's Karina Karina again. Hopefully she's done decorating for the holidays in her, her neighborhood. And I think that may have caught everybody. I've said hello to everybody, Miss Nakamoto. Oh, good job. Good job. So there goes the chat. It's sweet. You did a good job. All right, everybody. What's next? It's now 8.45 in just a few seconds, and I believe it's time to go me, 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 me. <laughs> Do we want to play the, the Rob Lynn Live song? Uh, I almost said love song again. I meant Rob Lynn Live uh, song again. Sure. Let's play it one more time. For those of you who may have come in late to O-Connect, this is our theme song, and this is compliments of Mr. John Barilla as a composer, as a lyricist, uh, as a producer, as a director, as an executive produce, producer, and singer, if I might say. So, here we go. Let's hear this one more time. And I'd like to sing along, but I'm told I'm not allowed. So, let's listen to John Barilla. Here we go. Going right into the video section all right we're going to copy and paste there's the copy here's the paste i hope one day they have a save where you can save it as a that'll be song. nice right now it's not there all right but i bet you it will be there one day so in three two one take it away lynn
Thank you, everybody. It automatically plays. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Doggies, that gets me worked up for sure. That is compliments of Mr. John Body. Yeah, Mr. John Barilla from, uh, well, his family was from Italy, but he's from uh, Steubenville, Ohio, now living in uh nyc in the east village and i'm not going to give your address out john and why do we play it twice because i love the theme song and i can't get enough it's like when the song is done i'm like oh that was too fast so then i want to hear it again i hope that's okay with you guys. who are you speaking for you yeah no, for me. <laughs> all i want to know is do you rob lynn live do you rob lynn live and let's see what responses we got uh, it's a Roblin Live. My respect, John Barilla from Sadananda. Sadananda, Gas. good stuff. Yep. John, my brother, my dear brother, Melanie says, we wish you well on your surgery day tomorrow. Everything will be a okay. okay. All right, John Barilla having a minor procedure tomorrow to remove a situation, and he'll be back. I think he'll be with us tomorrow night. Yes, he wants to be because he's on the in the um, panel for the Q and A, so if he really wants to be here. All right, so we'll and look Mel forward to John's uh, yes. success tomorrow. And Mel Marcano says, "Bravo, bravo!" After we played the song, and Sadananda said, "Hearing it again and again is fine." Thanks, Sadananda. Michael Chata is, has clapping hand emojis, and he says, "Very nice." And Karina says, "Thank you for that great song." Mayur is here, and Mayur. Shabate says, it's a wonderful theme song. And Michael Chata has uh, music type emojis. He says, John Barilla and Chris Tiazan, because there are two of them doing it. Chris was on piano keyboard and uh, also doing the uh, video and the audio. So thank you to both of them, uh, Mr. Barilla and Mr. Tiazan. And we have Brenda Ross saying, I love hearing this marvelous theme song. Perfect. Outstanding. Thank you, ma'am. And I said, playing the song twice, and Karina says, I agree, Sis Lynn. Thank you, Karina. Thank you, thank you, thank and you. And we have good evening to Rachel. Thank you so much. I know she, she tried to send me a super sticker at noon, but I think I didn't get it. So maybe it was an error from YouTube, their side, not our error, because I, I didn't see it. Thank you, thank, thank you, you for the because thought. Because the thought is so nice that you even gave us one or tried to give us one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We appreciate you. And we have Sadananda. Uh, my master's voice is Sadananda. <laughs> and Melanie says, do you Robin live? I, it's a very catchy song. Uh, Clover Kelly says, lovely song by John Barilla. And we have Rachel saying, Rachel says, good morning. Have a great day. Sunday heart soon. Yes, coming very soon. And uh, Frank Ro Rose says, are you Robin live all connecting tonight where there is a show? There is a show we all love to go to. And Carmela's here. She says, I love this song. And uh, Leg Dega, very kind. She says, praying for you, Brother John. All is well for tomorrow. Yeah, we're all sending prayers and thinking good thoughts. And I think everything will be just fine, John. Let's go to the chat and say a few more hellos before we open it up for community time. Antoinette Legdega is in the house. Hello, Legdega. Hi, Legdega. All right, so we've got uh, 55 here tonight. We could afford to have more. 55 is a good start, I guess. Um, Carmela says hashtag Ashmafara, hashtag on passive, hashtag O'Mail, hashtag O'Net, and hashtag O'Trim. Hashtag fire, fire, fire. So, and we have people already coming to the panel. So what we're going to do is encourage you to come to the panel, especially for those who haven't tried it before. It's fun to be on the panel. And all you have to do is 
type in the chat, me, me, me. And before we switch the beautiful ticker, let's talk about the ticker that you see scrolling across the screen right now. This is a, uh, a creation by Michael Chata. He produces one for us every day, you know, and this is the one for tonight. It says Roblin Live Topic planning and you December 12th 2023 at 8 p.m eastern standard time and if you look at it carefully the emojis are thoughtfully and carefully picked out to go with the theme and the topic so thank you so much for taking the time to make that for us all Appreciate right you all right so now we're going to go to change the ticker and i see isabel says it's going to be hashtag christmas with hashtag apples yeah. I'm with you. We're looking forward to that, Mr. Mafar. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Yes. You'll be fine, John, tomorrow. All will be well. We got you, says Angela Lilly. All right. There you go. You got friends here, Barilla. And Melody says, Michael always does a good job, and so does Car uh, Charmaine. Thank you. Thank you to Charmaine for the beautiful gra uh, visual. <laughs> I tried the to graphic say. visual, absolutely visual. stunning tonight. Uh, and she C2. takes the time. She has pride in her work, and it always comes out so beautifully. So thank you, Charmaine, for, for doing it. For if us. Harry Brechtschneider is here, I had my coffee with heavy cream tonight. Heavy cream, brother. It tastes a little thicker. Hopefully it's got, like you say, it's 18% fat, so I can get skinnier. Thank you. <laughs> and we got bok choy. We got ginger, fresh ginger, fresh bok choy, and fresh, fresh garlic. And avocado oil, right? Avocado oil, and the other Ses kind of sesame, oil is sesame, sesame, sesame oil. oil. So I'm going to just chop the bok choy finely. He wants to eat it raw in salads, and I'm going to eat mine like stir-fried. So it should be yummy. I can't wait for it. Mm -hmm. All right. And we got right now in the coming down to the panel, we have... Mayur Shirbate, we have Carmela Schwartz, and we got Patricia Green. And most of you will, uh, who have been on the panel before, I've sent you the speaker link in Messenger. So go and check before you um, ask to come to the panel, because most of you have it. John Barilla says, I'm going to call it an early night tonight. I'm going to get some sleep so that I'm ready for my surgery tomorrow morning. Thanks all for the good wishes and prayers, and I'll be back tomorrow night. All right. All right, Johnny. You, John. Thank you, Johnny. Go and rest as, as best you can. Lay down, brother. Mm -hmm. And Brenda Ross says, good night, John. Sleep well, my friend. And Carmela says, hashtag Robin Live, hashtag old Carmela Fire Love on Passive. And Don Swihart says, good night to our dearest John. We have Susan Page in the house. Hi, Susan in the Philippines. Philippines. Hello, Susan. Mm -hmm. There's Mel Mel and Dawn again. All right. Anybody else coming down to the panel? We're going to go to the gallery view shortly. But we want to see if anybody else wants to come to the panel. I hope I didn't skip anybody who said me, me, me. If I didn't see you, just type it again at the, at the bottom, please. Appreciate it. Oh, and Mayor says, John, please get well. Good night. Get well Thank soon, you. Johnny. Oh, lots of nice wishes. Frank says, good night, John. Sleep well and stay safe. Angela Land, good night, John. All right. So let's go now to the gallery view and see who is with us now. Here we go. Let's go to the panel. This is our panel. This is community time. Woo-hoo. Woo, doggies. Look who's here. I know a few of those faces. Oh, I know them all, actually. Yeah. You know them. All right, let's say hello to Carmela. Carmela, fire in uh, fi fire in the fire pit. Hello, Carmela. Hello, 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 everybody. I missed you. Missed you too. I haven't I been be here for two nights. Are you rested now, Carmela? I have uh, some issues in the morning time, so I had to be focused on that. And I fix it, and I have so, some uh, noises around me, and uh, it's making me down. Mm -hmm. But I took some rest, and I'm back. <laughs> oh, good. All right, good stuff, good stuff there. And uh, let's go over to Mr. Uh, Harry. Where'd Harry go? He'll come back. He was here. All right. Let's uh, let's go over to Mayur. Mayur, welcome. Good morning, uh, India. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good evening to all of you uh, because uh, 
there there is a evening also so in camera uh, Colonel ma'am is a, is a good morning for you. okay and well, uh, how are you doing today lawyer yes uh, working is there so uh, getting uh, in one uh, one and a half an hour I, I will be uh, leave for the pharmacy yes okay Sounds good. All right, stick with us till then, and we'll catch you once you get to the pharmacy if you have the time. Sounds good, good, good. Let's go to the one and only Patricia Green. Are you praying or are you meditating? What in the world are you doing, Pat? <laughs> Hello. Unmute, Pat. Come on. I was getting out of my solitaire game. <laughs> That's what I was doing. I knew it had to be something. I can listen <laughs> some more. <laughs> oh, funny. I got caught. <laughs> it's All so right, funny. Dorothy. What's new in Kansas, Dorothy? Well, it's still pretty here. It is a snowing, which is, I'm thankful for that. The weather's been pretty decent, and I'm thankful for that. And I, I was just talking to my husband today. We were talking about, you know, the money we get, uh, those apples uh, to talk about that you get from on passive. I was telling him, you know, we need to do some planning on that because. I said, you can just, you know, um, you can have it one day and next day it's gone if you don't make any plans about what you're going to do with it, you know. So I thought it was interesting that you were talking about planning and you, that that was the subject tonight. True. Mm -hmm. so, we had you in mind. I think so. Because we were talking about what we wanted to do in the future and, you know, just, and um, just some different things that's going on in our lives and some changes we want to make and I thought, you know, this is one of the ways to do that is through on passive. So we need to make some plans for it, and write them down. And so we can, you know, shoot for those goals. Yeah, just don't make them too long range. Make them within reach. And then you can reach out for the longer range ones. That's what the uh, proverbial thinking is. Right. The first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to... Um, clean out this house. We've been here probably 20 years. And, you know, you can accumulate a lot of stuff in 20 years. <laughs> so I'm thinking one of the first things I want to do is, is clean out that house. That's one of my short term goals is to, you know, I told my husband, I want to get rid of about 90% of the stuff in this house. And he looked at me and and I, I think he was wondering if I was going to get rid of him too with all of the stuff that's going to go. <laughs> Which is not the case, but oh, <laughs> he may wonder once we start the process, but <laughs> I'm going to keep him around forever and ever. <laughs> so it's going to be flying out that door at that house. <laughs> he better not stand in the way because it might hit you in your door. <laughs> but well, anyway. Let's go over to uh, uh, Miss Marcano, Mel Mel. What's happening in Canada? Yes, hello. It's a little bit, it, it's not snowing. The weather was nice this morning, but it's chilly, I find. It's pretty on the cool. I mean, it's winter, yes, but um, but still, I'm thankful because there's no ice, no snow, no nothing. So thank God. And um, planning, 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 planning. <laughs> I used to plan before long term and it didn't really don't work as much so i plan as i go i take little bits at a time little bits at a time and um write it down write it down like i said i have those two big books and in there there's the black pages which i use white markers to write on the black pages when Mr. Mofara had the meetings, I jot down some things in there, so they are rich, and I have goals in those books. So I am planning, and I have other little books that I have, things that I planned already, and also on my cell phone, I jot down things that, that will come into use for me as I go along, to, just for remembrance. So I have always been planning, although sometimes we plan and the plan doesn't really work but we just keep trying for me i am one who is very persistent i don't give up never give up it fails and i try something else i get discouraged but i keep trying so i know yes there's something good down the pipeline 
and this is my type of planning and this is goals that i have to, i'm not saying i need to reach i have to because one thing i'll remember is in the book of life it says call forth the things that are not yet as if they were and i know the things that are not yet is on passive it's in the pipeline and it's coming and i'm calling it forth because i know it's coming it's on the way this is what i have to say right now all right Thank you very much for that, Mel Mel. We appreciate it. Uh, all right, Harry, I see you got cut off. Are you back? You're not back? No. Zip it? No. Refresh, maybe? Try the settings that you did before. Remember how yeah, you that did reset. settings? By the way, Harry, I know you can hear me. Half and half gone. Went with, uh, right, heavy cream. Heavy cream, brother. Okay. There it is. It's half and half. All right. No, that's... Gone. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, where are we going next? Mm, I can't see if anybody else. Not is quite going. time for me to leave and go into the office. Let's go back to Mayor. Tell us a little more about what's going on in your world in India, Mayor. Please. Yes, sir. Um, uh, good evening to all of you once again. Um, and this topic is about the planning and you. So when we plan something uh, we will reach uh, in 90 uh, percent so we we said the 100 percent we will reach but uh, when we set the target for the uh, next uh, 10 days uh, uh, one month or a year so we will reach uh, when we not plan anything so we not uh, decided that we we going to that path also so melin man said that uh, we uh, she take uh, some notes from uh, mm -hmm. and planning to the that planning. so it will be uh, some some uh, some point as there is a long term something is uh, on uh, short term also so planning uh, will give that uh, you, you will be rich and you will be set the target for uh, your process also uh, planning is about that based on the uh, fundamental capacity of for mental and time travel also so it will be uh, develop some plan for the work you need. Your uh, personal goal also is uh, some uh, professional goal also is there. So uh, some uh, family planning uh, also is there. So uh, when will be the um, um, boys are going to uh, some children's uh, some plan is there about their educational field. Uh, some or or um, for my side, is there is a so we set a new uh, new pharmacy is there, uh, new uh, coming coming hospitals will be there. So we reach and we set the goal. So we'll uh, go to the uh, in the doctors. We plan that uh, how, how we are uh, capa uh, capable for that. Uh, if not, uh, so we uh, next to the uh, next. Um, next focus also so most of the time we plan but uh, you take uh, action after, after you take actions uh, there will be a chances to you uh, reach the goal also so uh, planning is one point but taking action is most important because not uh, no one uh, keep only plan no not will be uh, uh, no actions there is no completion is there so from my side is is a better way to take action uh, most of the time and planning it accordingly yes thank you all right thank you mayor very good we appreciate it so you said there's a new pharmacy being built is that what you said did i get that right uh there there is hello hello <laughs> hello is is okay but now i can't hear any sound uh, some uh, doctors are coming uh, uh, for me. Is uh, they ask for the pharmacy uh, management? Uh, I had uh, that some part will be developed in uh, our area, Pune, Pune area. So, um, okay. Get that. I hear sound. Can you? Yeah, okay, I hear sound. And all right, I'm good. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Thank you, my ear. All right, Harry, over to you now. You get you got the floor and the ceiling. Go ahead. Oh, uh, there. Okay. I heard I did actually when I first came on, I heard you talking about your 18% creamer. I caught that before you uh, before you even showed me the next time. But it's not 18% cream. You're supposed to be heavy cream is 30 to 35% cream, whipping cream. That's what I got. Whipping 18 cream. 18% isn't whipping cream. Oh. Well, it says whipping cream on a container. I don't yeah, know. You usually can't whip 18%. 18% is table cream. Uh oh. It was sick. But it was but, but, uh, but it is still price. it is still much, much better than the 10%. So all right. Well, I'm gonna go get the container here in a minute. Yeah, yeah. And so, I've never heard of whipping cream being 18%. Here in Canada, it's uh 35%. Oh. This whipping cream, because I can't see you whipping 18% cream. You can whip it, but it ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah, it did taste good though. I, I can get used to the taste, I think. But 18% is better than the um 10% yeah. half half. All right, here it is. Here's what it says. Heavy whipping cream. No That's and it's 18%. Well, I don't know. Well, I bet you it's 30, 35%. Saturated fat, 17 and a half percent. Can you see? Uh, really? I don't know. Maybe you guys can see this better, right? No, I can't see. It's too small. What is, what are the words? Words is there right? any other fat content in it? Like just it's, besides uh, saturated? It, it, says, just, it just says total fat, five grams. Um, Saturated fat, 3.5 grams. Um, cholesterol, 15 grams. Total carbohydrate, zero. Uh, it doesn't really say. The top. Yeah, no. we are. Because it might be saturated fat might be 17.5%, but uh, there, the other there, sometimes there's two fats. Oh, um, no. The total fat would be uh, up to 30, 35%. So. Total fat, 5 grams, 7%. Saturated fat, 3.5 grams, 17 percent. Maybe so it's in the like US. 24, 25 percent. Oh. Right. That's still a little light. No, oh. it's still that's still pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Maybe in the I'm, maybe in, in the America, States, maybe. different. Yeah. Interesting how it's different. And we bought bok choy. We got bok oh, choy. Bok choy. No. Yeah, okay. Organic bok choy, and we got uh, ginger. And while we were at Sprouts, and we also got um, uh, sesame oil, and we also got oh, avocado. Oh, sesame oil. seed oil is not good. Oh, that? You need olive oil or MCT oil. No, we got this. It's high fat. I mean, high heat. No good, huh? Avocado. Well, that, oh, that's avocado. That's good. Goodness. Yeah, avocado is a good oil. All right. It just doesn't take heat too well. But that's it's, it's high okay. heat. That's why I bought it. It says avocado can be heated, high heat. It handles high heat. You know, so when I stir fry the bok choy, it'll be fine. That's why I got it. Yeah, avocado is good though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't think it could take that much heat. Yeah, it's it's for high heat specifically. Hmm. Thank you, though. Thank you. So for we're off and running uh, on this uh, additional add to the diet program. Mm -hmm. And I'll have bok choy instead of celery now. Gonna... And the bok choy had stalks on it as well. So it looks like I can eat a stalk of bok choy. Did you and taste it already? I haven't tasted it yet, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love it. So. Is it, is it going to gag me or what? <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I Mary Lou uses it all the time, but... Uh... She cooks she, with it, she right? Cooks almost, yeah, she cooks all a lot with bok choy. Yeah, yeah. I love bok choy. I think you'd like it cooked. No? We'll try it either way. As long as you like it, whichever way you eat it. All right, Harry. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go over to Carmela with her hand up. Carmela, talk to us. Hello, hello. I hello. wanted to say 
I'm drinking every morning lemon, lemon with ginger. Sometimes I put my orange, this orange, you see my orange? Mm -hmm. This is the orange for my tree. I take it from my tree. The lemon is also for my tree. So it's not a, with the poison on it. It's clean, pure clean. No pesticides. Yes. And uh, I eat for my garden. I, I try to put as much as more uh, things uh, in my garden. I grow them up and I eat from it. Aww. And then I know what I'm putting in my mouth for sure. Melanie's nodding because that nodding you're doing that's what you would love to do, right, Mel? <laughs> but Mel doesn't have really a young right But if she did, Mel would be doing what you're doing. Oh God, for sure. I would have a garden of Eden in my yard. Trust yeah. me. Every time. Very soon, very soon you are going to have a very big garden with Ash Mufara's restaurant you put in, <laughs> in the end of your garden. Exactly. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Rob, I picked up something um, at Winners as you were talking about coffee. It's... um. It's, it's a good thing. I always look at the ingredients and the, the fat and all of those things. I take my time and read the label. It's called, um, it's a holiday spice one, but it's honey. And it's mixed with um, cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. So it's like, it's like a butter. It's hard. <laughs> um, it, it looks like butter. It looks like butter. But you just put a, like a tablespoon in your coffee, your tea, whatever it is, anything is used, and it tastes really good. Very so good. You, you put it in tea or you put it in coffee? Tea, coffee, stews, anything, almost anything. And it's just pure honey with raw honey with um, cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. Sounds it pretty is, healthy to me substitute for ginger and um, for sugar as well it's pretty good that's there for sure i put moringa in my coffee oh, yeah. leaves of moringa for my also for my garden i have the moringa tree too that, hey, Armin. that was an advice of christia zahn right carmela hello everyone i put oh, coffee man. in my coffee probably <laughs> <laughs> no. Armin, what's up? What's new in Canada? Is it cold there today? Yeah, it's, it is. It's uh, damp, dreary, you know, uh, but I'm happy, joyous, and free because, yep, I'm, I in, <laughs> because I'm a non-passivian, just like Z. <laughs> I'm a poet and I don't know it. <laughs> How you doing, my ear? Gosh, good to see ya. Hello, man. Are you oh, Mel, Mel, Melanie? Mel, oh, Mel, 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 how are you? I am fine, <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, uh, Armin, before Thanks, you get to the show, yeah, we'll be back to you in a minute, Armin. Let's go over to Pat Green, then we'll get back to you. Good to see you, Lynn. You know, we were talking about uh, planning and you, um, the cleaning out the house is, uh, is one of the things, I, one of the first things I want to do. There's a reason that I want to do that is because I want to get a nicer house. No, I don't want a mansion, but at least not while I'm here on earth. But if I have a mansion in heaven, I want a few maids with it, you know, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> But that's one of the reasons I want to clean out this house is when we move, it'll be a lot less stuff to move, you know. I only plan on moving one more time and just enjoying my house, you know. So it's kind of like I, it doesn't have to be a mansion. It just needs to be a nice home and all on one level because I'm not doing stairs anymore. So I'm just really looking forward to it. But anyway, that's one of my long-term goals that are Maybe medium goals, I don't know. Depends on how many apples I get from on pass and how fast I get my house. <laughs> anyway. Right. That's a good thing. That's all good, actually. All good. 
All right, back back to you, Armin. Back to you. Up oh, over there. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Over to my your. Go ahead, sir. If there is any um, that uh, particular here, ma'am, is like uh, that uh, said about that the home, uh, it will be uh, most of the women are there. They are very good in planning. I know that uh, my mother also and my wife also is there. Um, most of the women are very good in planning. And uh, they take most actions, and uh, uh, every home will be there. Uh, some um, it will be uh, clean, and some uh, they put it. Uh, um, most of the action they work in, uh, like Melina Mam is going there, and uh, they are um, uh, going for the work. Uh, lean Mam. Most of the uh, women are going uh, home. And uh, they uh, go to the work also. They manage all things with planning. In in age uh, in morning they start the starting in. Uh, my wife is there, so the she is taking uh, uh, breakfast for the uh, my children. So they the most planning is going there. And second point is that uh, if any um, taking uh, the. A doctor, uh, so I I will bring uh, some doctors in our show if uh, uh, there is uh, any planning about uh, uh, um, diet, health diet. About so, if there is okay, thank you. Very nice. All right, all right, Armin, what are you drinking, Armin? Armin, what are you drinking? I'm I'm I'm, I'm drinking filtered water, Rob. I uh, I got a filtered system here. And uh, it takes out 99.9% of everything that's out there, arsenic. It even takes arsenic out. Uh, it's called a uh, Berkey. A Berkey. This is it. And it's uh, just great water. It's got uh, four filters in it. But uh, I, I, uh, I love apples, but I, I, I can't stand crab apples. <laughs> and whenever I'm around crabby people, I think, oh, there's some crab apples. And then I just walk away, you know, because sometimes people aren't so joyous and free like I seem to be most of the time. But uh, uh, your show really light, lightens up the world. That's why uh, everybody loves Robin Lynn Live. Do you Robin Lynn Live, Rob? Yes, do you, you Rob Lynn live, Armin Hope? Bark and tree frogs, I sure do. All but right. keep those crab apples away. I want money. I don't want crab apples. <laughs> All right, we're good. All right, Krabby Appleton. We're going over to Mel now. Go ahead, Mel. Speaking of planning, um, as Pat, I'm following you, Pat, because of time and time again, talk about I need to move out of this place. But I have patience because I know I was placed there just for a reason, for short term. And um, what I would love to have, and we can ask for anything in life that we want to, and we can get it, right? If we, are, if we stay up positive. So I would like to have a nice loft. Like just an open space. I do not like corners, corners, you know. I like an open space, but if a huge veranda, <laughs> veranda is like a porch, right? But um, it's right spread because I love the outdoors and I would have loved to go in a place where I can have people we are sitting on the veranda and just looking out, maybe the mountains, because I, I intend to relocate, right? Move out of Ontario, relocate. Um, more Alberta and um, just looking at the mountains and you know talking about life chatting away I would love to that's part of my goal and I can see it coming I know it's coming it, it, it's kind of in between a long a short term and long term but it's more long term kind of because it's waiting for the apples sometimes a lot of months keep you a bit behind, right? It kind of um, keep you a little bit behind. So you have to have the enough, not 
a lot of money, but you have to have enough for you to do certain things. So that's what I'm waiting on. And yeah, God's will, I will relocate. That's a good good goal for sure. Because I love to have shorter term than long term. Yeah, I love people and I love to have people around me. So yeah, that's job. one of my planning goals. I'm dreaming your dream. <laughs> and everything is coming soon. It is? And we are going to meet one each other. Yes. On the mountain. And we, yeah, we're going to buy land. Don't worry. And we'll get people in it. <laughs> you, and Christmas you is just two weeks away. All of us. Um, <laughs> uh, what's his name? Armand. And maybe Roman Lee, who knows where we meet. Well, we'll all meet up. I guarantee it. It's coming. Come to a theater near you. And even Mayo, you love Apple, so you can fly. <laughs> fly to Canada, Mayo. We fly to India. <laughs> ha. Ha. Welcome, welcome, man. All, all of you will come. I will be. Uh, we are going to here. make a lot of flight. I'm going to travel with you all over the world. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. We should all campaign and get a jet ourselves and. Meet at one place, pick everybody up, and then just go on a worldwide trip for a whole year or two. <laughs> All right. Hey, go to Hawaii, go to Jerusalem, visit Carmela. We could go to Thailand, visit uh, Casey Zevenbergen, and uh, he uh, sent me a picture today. Uh, Casey did with uh, Led Zeppelin's. Uh, I forget his name now. Uh, who? Uh, oh, the star of Led Zeppelin. Gosh, I have to go back. But it was exciting, and uh, I'd like to go to Thailand. I don't know if you can still see me. I'm trying to get the name of. Uh, uh, oh, where did it go now? Uh, here it is. Oh, is that it? No, won't let me get out of there. Oh, anyways, uh, yeah, Led Zeppelin, the, the lead singer of Led Zeppelin. Uh, I was never really into music. I liked listening to it, but I never bought any albums. Couldn't afford them. <laughs> That's why I never flew anywhere, is I couldn't afford it. <laughs> All right, Armour, we're going over to uh, Mel, if we could. Go ahead, Mel. Good stuff. Your hand's raised. Go ahead. Oh, that was not intentional. My hands were not down. I'm sorry. Let me give someone else a chance for now. But anyhow, yes, I'll just speak. <laughs> I just want to say, Armour, you're in the dark. Did you fly away? <laughs> no, I'm trying to find the name of that singer that I got the picture today. I'm in a, a messenger chat. I'm looking. I'll be back. Don't, don't hey, um, leave town. Don't leave town. You know, it's here somewhere. Okay, I don't have anything right now. We so have I, to, I put my hands on. We, we I, have to dream big. Okay, go ahead, Carmela. I said we have to dream big. That's Ashmo Farah said. You don't dream big enough. So dream big. All right. We'll dream yeah. a little bigger. <laughs> yes. Oh, I got it now. <laughs> I got it now. Jimmy, Jimmy Page, Led Zeppelin, was standing right next to Casey Zevenbergen, and he sent me that photo today. And uh, Jimmy Page is uh, Casey Zevenbergen's friend. And... Uh, Led, Led Zeppelin, uh, Jimmy Page, what he does when he goes to Thailand, he brings his uh, uh, artifacts, his collections, his collections and, and he puts them on auction there. And uh, the people that have money, they 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 bid really high for his uh, his personal items that he's collected over the years. I forget the name of it, but uh, and he gives the money to charity, eh? Nice. And, and that's what we're we are all about. We're we're here to help out 
uh, others. And that's what uh, uh, this guy here, he's not a, I don't think he's a non passivian but he's a great uh, singer. I'm sure everybody knows Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. He did Stairway to Heaven. And uh, oh, oh, the world is full of nice people, you know. It's like fire can be used for bad. It could be used for good. And, uh, you know, money as uh, Led Zeppelin uh, is doing, he's using his money for good. He's helping others. And, well, that's about all. I just want to find that name and let you know. All right. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Armin. I shared with, uh, I shared, if I may, uh, with uh, Casey Zevenbergen that I, I love Pad Thai. It's a Thailand, I think, food. And uh, last time I ordered a dinner was 10 bucks, and that was before COVID. And I went the other day, I was walking by the restaurant, and I couldn't believe it. It's like eighteen ninety nine now. Yeah, that's, that's what weird. happened. It's like double, eh? And uh, I, I mentioned that to Casey. I said, uh, well, it's getting expensive here in Toronto. And I told him about the prices. And he says, well, in Thailand, a Pad Thai dinner is five bucks. I said, well, hey, make my reservation. I'm on my way as soon as I get a passport. <laughs> I'll save 15 bucks on a Pad Thai dinner. But it would probably cost me three grand to get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got I got good common sense. Eh? I I got good common sense. <laughs> I'll spend three grand for a flight and save fifteen bucks. <laughs> I'm not the brightest to do that without even thinking twice, Armin. <laughs> I'm not the brightest bulb in the factory, but it still works. That's all I worry about. <laughs> well, I better get back to the show. I'll get out of this messenger somehow. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm not going to leave town. Hey, Harry. Guess what I have? I'm drinking bottled water. Um, and I put some flavoring in it because water is kind of boring. So I, I thought I'd join you because you usually drink water, too. This has just got some flavoring in it. So I don't drink much water, and I thought I needed to drink more. And so I thought I'll just put a little bit of flavoring in it, and I'll drink it. And uh, most of this bottle of water is gone. But anyway, I just thought I'd tell you I'm joining you tonight. I'm drinking some water, too, if that's what you're drinking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Solid straight vodka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to join you drinking vodka. <laughs> we call that vodka. I'm drinking vodka. Vodka. <laughs> Higher water. Uh, it, what, okay. What kind of flavoring do you have in the water? Is it um, like a little squeeze thing? Oh, that myself? Sweet? No, no, I'm talking to uh, Patricia. Patricia Green. It yes. comes in powder, Harry. It's in like a little... Um, yeah, a um, little like squirt a little thing, tube. yeah. And you just pour it in here. Yeah, yeah. But it, 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 it's, uh, I bet you it contains sucrose or something Probably. Like that. Probably. But it's yeah, got some flavor. Sucrose is really it. bad for you. Yeah. Sugar, sugar causes still cancer. sugar. Yeah. Um, I wish they had something that could flavor without the sucrose. Yeah, without the, any kind of flavor. Uh, when I go yeah. to the grocery store, Harry, they all have that. Yeah. yeah. Ginger's good. Grated ginger in your water is nice. Oh, grated no ginger. Sugar. Yeah, you just yeah. cut a lime, a um, rind of lemon, fresh lemon. Mm. Wash it nicely and put it, uh, put it in the water, and that's good flavor. Or even orange, the rind. The rind, yeah, that's, that's it. Coffee. Some people put lemon slices, but I prefer the rind because there's the flavor. Mm -hmm. It's also the healthiest part. Too. Yes, I worked with an Asian lady, mm -hmm. and she said uh, she taught me how to cook at the post office. I've been cooking out of a wok. Yeah, I bought brand new. It's forty years old. Uh, it looks like it was out of a restaurant. I use it so often. But she said, Armin, anything that tastes good is not good for you. And, and that's sugar. Now I use uh, black bean sauce when I make a stir fry. I'll take a good heaping teaspoon of black bean sauce, maybe two. Uh, I'm spoiling myself lately. And then I get oyster flavor sauce 
and I put the same equal amounts, maybe a bit more, as I had put the uh, black bean sauce. And I mixed my stir fries up with that, with garlic and lots of ginger. Mm -mm. No restaurant can top what I cook. And I'm not a good cook. It's so simple, man. I'm tough. I put my timer on there for about seven minutes, flip it around with my big spatula, my Asian spatula, and I'm telling you, my neighbors are envious. Eh? They, they're, uh, they're kind of like drooling on the side when they see me come out of the apartment. <laughs> I, I'm not really that good of a cook. But the black bean sauce is good. But it's probably got sugar in it, and that, I should probably not have that. But. Mm -hmm. That's uh, honey, uh, it is better for uh, your blood. Uh, honey is blood purifier. You use uh, one tablespoon each day in morning. Uh, it will be and uh, with what uh, like uh, Melana Ma'am says that a pinch of uh, lemon in uh, water. It will be better for health. And we uh, can I use. Meyer, if I may, I missed the first ingredient that you mentioned. Uh, honey. Honey is there. Honey is the uh, best puri uh, blood purifier. Uh, we um, give the um, pu as a purifying your blood. Uh, honey is better uh, when the best quality is uh, in your country. Uh, it will be uh, most I have it. usable. Yes. I, I be, I, now, I, I became a type 2 diabetic. My, my count was 19. The uh, diabetic specialist says, we don't know how you're still standing. So it's, it's come down because I went on uh, Ozempic. And that reduces all the sugar out of your body. And it makes you lose weight. But it causes thyroid cancer. So knowing that, I stopped Ozempic after about two and a half months. And I haven't had it now for about two and a half months. And my blood sugar level is uh, was 7.7. .7. And then I had a box of Kraft dinner. And that's carbohydrates. And uh, I noticed that the next day my blood sugar, well, it went from, no, actually 7.4. It went up to 9.7 the next day. So Kraft dinner is not good for me. And I, I do have uh, uh, the best honey that you can get from uh, a farmer that does not put any uh, additives in the wintertime. It's cold here in Canada. And to preserve uh, uh, to, to, for the bees, they, he doesn't give them supplements of sugar to feed on. Uh, they, they have all natural feed. And uh, that's the uh, honey that I got. But I was told the other day, and I think it's true, that that might spike my sugar level higher. So I stopped taking honey. Uh, and I, I get kind of getting used to not having sweets. Okay, okay. Uh, but uh, uh, honey is uh, not that uh, sugar level will be not uh, increased. Uh, at, um, but think, oh, it's okay. Uh, when you are not comfortable at this, uh, take a um, break about the honey also, so it will be better. Honey's good, you say. I I think so too. Yeah, it's natural. I I, I got it here. I I cheat sometimes because I don't know. I don't have the correct knowledge, but I cheat anyways. And I have honey. Because eh? <laughs> I don't I don't drink alcohol at all. Eh? I'm I I haven't had a drink of alcohol. Uh, it'll be forty thirty nine years come March seventeenth, St. Patty's Day. What a day to stop drinking, eh? <laughs> I must be crazy. Yeah, but uh, I didn't. Doctor, doctor I says like, oh, um, <laughs> every day we will take forty-five minutes. It's limit. <laughs> 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 yes. um, uh, permittable, but uh, not too much. Yes. Yeah. Oh no! It, it, for everybody else, it's okay. Uh, it's just me personally. I, I think everybody should have a shot or two or drink or whatever one whenever they want, eh? But I, I just can never safely predict the outcome of an evening once I took my first drink. I, I would pass an invisible line and I'd wake up the next day and I'd have a, a black eye, you know, or something like that. Eh? Uh, I'd have my paycheck gone. 
So that's why it's 39 years come St. Patty's Day. I haven't drank. Uh, it's much safer for me. And I'm happier anyway, so yes. I don't need alcohol. I enjoy life on life terms. And I go to a lot of, well, I did. I went to a lot of sober dances. I'm a heterosexual. And I go to a lot of sober dances in my 39 years, boy, I'll tell you. And uh, I don't go to bars to pick up women. I go to AA dances. And I, I, I'll ask a lady who's sober more than a year if she would like to dance. And uh, I've had a few dances in my 39 years. Well, it's a lot of fun. Uh, bees of, uh, birds of a feather flock together. But I, I don't mind mixing with the crowd. And I can't wait till we all join up, get on a cruise. And I'm going to be there with a clipboard writing down, oh, Harry, he's had three or four drinks tonight. Oh, Rob, he's had six or seven. So I'm going to go around monitoring you guys and how much you're drinking. Because <laughs> I don't drink. But that's just an inside AA joke, you know, Alcoholics Anonymous joke. Uh, a lot of us people, we don't get invited to parties that people who enjoy drinking because they know that, like, Armin's in AA and don't invite Armin. No, he'll be monitoring how much we're drinking because he doesn't drink. <laughs> he, you know, uh, he, he belongs to Alcoholics Anonymous, AA, and it stands for Arseholes Anonymous because I'm a big arsehole. <laughs> Even though right. I'm not drinking. Armin, we're going. We're going over to Pat. Excuse me. We're going over to uh, Melanie now. Mel, 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 Mel. Sorry. No problem. Mel, Mel. Yes. Um, as part of the planning and um, the goals planning, as I mentioned, I I take it down in that in this book, and I also taped as part of my goals time management. And it gives me a little summary of time, how to manage my time as far as goals. So I pasted it there so I can remind myself in this book. And um, as I mentioned, little sayings, little things that will remind me of what I need to do, like short-term performance goals and end goals, like what is the, the end result. I, I write all of those on this um this page is a white marker, and every time I open the book, it, it gives me a reminder. So I keep it close to me, to where I am working or, you know, anything I'm doing, you know. And um, there's a lot of things that I try. I try to, because we can't always remember certain things, and we are, we are such a fast-paced life, in this, especially in this world, in these big countries, that we forget ourselves even sometimes. So... I put down reminders, reminders in the planning. I don't always remind myself, but when I open up the book, I say, oh, yes, I remembered I have to do that. And I try my best to do as little as I can. All right. All right. Uh, anybody else? Uh, go ahead. I want to say that uh, it's a uh, very uh, nice to hear from all of you uh, many recipes <laughs> what to drink and what to eat and uh, each one know his body the best what he needs or what he don't need sometimes something good for someone but some other another per person take the same things it's not a, not working on it so the 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 men they are we are the the, the best doctor our for ourselves even ex a medicine and some people it work on some people it doesn't so it's it's a, it's it's not the same recipe to everyone so uh, this is my opinion because I, I know other people take things that I take, it doesn't they work the same. And they, we, we are, we in, in time, in life, we learn what is good for us and what is not good for us in, in, in not, not refining and in food. And we decided uh, 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 the best what will do, uh, do good to us. 
For example, I've heard that lemon, if you take lemon and uh, ginger in the morning, it, 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 it helps you to lose weight. And uh, I tried. And I really lost weight. And I know other people who try it and doesn't help them. So it's not a, it's not a, a, a magic for everyone. But, you know, we hear and we try and we decide if it's good or not for us. Mm -hmm. Now I made myself a lemon with, with honey and cinnamon in it. Oh, and I wow. <laughs> you see, the lemon inside, good. I put it in, in honey. I'm it's in the same tasty. pants I wore in 1990 now. Uh, in 30, 33 or 34 years, I had this pair of blue jeans I bought from an Indian motorcycle store. It has a metal leather patch on the back of the belt loop. And I wore it, but then I put all kinds of weight on. And now I've lost that weight, and uh, I'm not on any diabetic medicine. I uh, stopped a few months ago, and my blood sugar levels come down, and I'm in these pants. I can't believe it. And there's so much room in between me. Uh, I've gone from size 44, and now I'm down to 36 with, I can put my hands down the front of my pants. I, I probably could get in a 34, and and, it, and I'm not on any medication. Uh, uh, that's why when I stopped, I was always an athlete. Uh, with one eye. Uh, uh, I always kept one eye in the road, though. Uh, and uh, it, I, I like to walk long distance and, and just stay relatively healthy, you know, because uh, if we come into a lot of money from on passive to help others to be uh, to helpful, to be helpful for Ash Mafara, as he required, he wants us to be, he requested that he said, I'd like you to be philanthropist like I am. And he says, all you need is one, one founding position. And that, what I'd like you to do is fill your tank. Now, he said apples, but I use money. Fill your tank with money. Then go buy your fancy house. Go buy your fancy car. Well, fancy car here in Toronto, that would be a Cadillac Escalade, and they're 200000 but as said, I want people to see you, ma'am, sir, coming out of that car, coming out of that fancy, beautiful house to say, what do you do for a living, ma'am? What do you do for a living, sir? Uh, I'm an on passivian. I'm a reseller and all the marketing is done for me. I never had a computer and that's the truth. Before I came to on Passover, I never had a computer. Didn't ever want a computer. I like riding motorcycles. I've been doing it for over 50 years with one eye, with no at-fault accidents. And I just love it, you know. Uh, and I lost my train. But anyways. That's all right. We'll be back to you. Don't worry. Let's, uh, let's go over to Mayor. Are you on your way to work soon? Uh, yes, I will. Last point is that uh, most most of the you uh, we use uh, planning uh, word um, we, uh, where uh, Camarilla ma'am is uh, there. They, uh, she she use uh, use that lemon. Uh, it is the planning. Okay, somehow uh, I lose my weight is 15 kg from last uh, six uh, six months. So there is planning also. Planning is there. So we we uh, get the reach the goal. And Melon Ma'am is uh, diary is the word like that. She remind every time to get uh, that goal, and uh, she reminds uh, and strike and go to that pathway. So they will reach. Uh, she will reach also. And um, <laughs> it's okay. And uh, Arisa is most of them. Arisa is not uh, uh, talking most. Uh, so I would like to. Uh, they, they will talk about that. Yes, thank you. From my side. All right. We'll see you after you get to work there at the pharmacy. Thank you.
Appreciate you, brother, very much. Thank you. Greg Hill in the house. Hello, Mr. Hill. <laughs> Hands up. Trying to unmute. <laughs> do you, Rob Lynn, live? That's all I want to know. Do you? Yes, I do, Rob Lynn, live. I try to, to get here. Sometimes it's difficult recently. Yeah. But I, I do, Rob Lynn, live. I didn't have a chance to enjoy doing what I love to do, make gifts today, because I was finishing up on a long paving asphalt project for this commercial job that I've been <clears throat> taking care of and uh, finishing up for somebody. So that's all done, which is really, really nice. I'm happy about that. I only have to do one other thing to make this whole project uh, be done and come together, and that's get a occupancy permit. And I've got, I have probably, I don't know, uh, I think I'm probably around 95% there. And uh, so then it's, and it's not as much stress because I won't be dealing with the public works of Skagit County, who are oh, yeah. very difficult people to deal with. They have a badge. So suddenly they have power. <laughs> That's for sure. You know how that goes. Anyway, I'm just glad to be here. I haven't had a chance to catch or hear anything. So I'm just kind of like here. <laughs> All right, so, well, we're talking about planning and you. That was tonight's yeah. topic, planning and you. Oh, I thought you said you were talking about me. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. The topic is, oh, it's at the top of the screen if you ever want to know. It's planning and you. I see that. That's wonderful. So well, I, I do have a lot of planning, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Well, we're going to switch seats, and uh, I'm going over to the office and get in the big chair, and we'll get Lynn in the big chair, too, and we'll be right back. So who wants to talk while we switch seats? Ooh. Well, I'll, I'll say that word. Uh, it, when it came to planning, uh, being an old scuba diver, uh, I don't do it now, but I got my certificate and my bronze certificate in scuba diving. The caption is, plan your dive and dive your plan and that's what i do that's how i'm sober all these years and i plan my life for the today and i i live my plan and 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 that kind of keeps me grounded and uh down to earth but uh, I'll, 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 I'll i yield my cat my time to uh, the floor mel my year for Hello. anyone else Good to see you. Hello, Carmelo and Patricia and Armand. Hi, Greg. And everybody in the, Greg. Back, in the background. I didn't get a chance to say hello there. Hello, Greg. Hey. Hello, Greg. Hey. Lovely you. to see you here. Lovely yes. to see you here, too, my friend. I, I, I see all your job you're doing behind for Robin Leaning LinkedIn. I like all your uh, 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 commercial. Oh. <laughs> I like I I I I try to take them and to put them in my Facebook, but I don't know how to do it. Sometimes it's it's okay. Sometimes I can't. I have to yeah. learn how to to copy and paste it in my page. You will you understand. Oh yeah, I do understand, and you will learn. You are smart. You can do it. This takes time. Okay. For sure. And I will do it. Right click and save it to your pictures uh, gallery. And then from there, you send it over to your YouTube or to whatever. It's a gift. It's a reliable picture. You know, it's a special image that moves. And, uh, and I love it. The, I love the, the idea of that. Uh, how, how you build it? It's a special <laughs> uh, website you have or what? No, I use three websites, plus I use a 3D paint program, and then I use two different websites on the, on the web that I found, one that I don't disclose, because it's taken me years to figure it out, and uh, I don't even, I, I know that this, well, I'll disclose it, and let anybody else want to try that can. I've never done this now before, but I will tonight. Years ago, there used to be a social site on and it came up at the same time as Facebook. It was called MySpace. Okay, so 
MySpace had what they call the generators, and uh, you could generate different things. Well, when that MySpace failed and went down the tubes because Facebook over, was just kind of overtook everything, um, <clears throat> they left a a generator there, online generator, and not, not, not many people know about it. And uh, you can use it if you know how to use it. And uh, you can, uh, I've kind of thought out of the box to use the generator the picture generator to create these gifts, but you have, it's kind of like the old style where you have a picture on a book and you put another picture of something moving and something moving, something moving. So it's kind of like make many, different, many different pictures to make one picture. Even uh, Chile, Mila wants to come. She said, me, me, me. I can't bring her because okay. I'm not a co-host. Who? Who? Uh, Chil, Chichil, uh, Wheeler, oh, I don't know. Sister. 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 Okay. Oh. Sister. Yes, yeah, she wants to come in. She said, me, me. Okay. So that's what I use is MySpace Generator. That's one of the tools. It's a free online tool. You can look it up on my or try just type in MySpace and uh, or MySpace Generators. You might be able to see it. You can take your pictures and upload pictures to it and do different things. Um, and uh, I go from there. But uh, it's taken a few years to learn how to create these different images and make them move and stuff because you have to. Do it with like 10 or 15 pictures. You're allowed up to, I believe, 50 pictures at one time. And sometimes it does take around 50 pictures just to get one gift made. It's a bit of a challenge, but it's uh, it's fun. I, I like thinking out of the box. So, uh, and now that we have AI. We did use, a marvelous work. What's that? All your pictures is very, very, very nice. And, and, and it's very uh, imagination. And you see, we see that you have a lot of imagination. You put it, you put your heart in it, and yeah. it, and it's filling the pictures. And I, yeah. I love it. I love it. I, each well, picture I, I, I saw, I, I I just am amazed. Thank you. And uh, and I, I I copied them and I put them in my Facebook. That Good. other people see them too. I've seen that. Thank you. And that's uh, it's just fun to do. And I've always said, any of the gifts that I make, it doesn't matter how many I've made. I don't care. All of them are anybody's. If they want to use them, they can use them, and however they want. So it's just a a gift. Get it? <laughs> yes, it's a gift, and I share it. I share it. We get That's a good. gift, and we share it to others. That's good. I a lot of comments I make on LinkedIn. I use a gift, and so those little gifts that anybody can take those if they want. They just have to right click, save as image, and put them on their desktop. Make a folder. Put them in a folder. And then you have them anytime you want to use it to, uh, when you're making a comment, you can use a GIF and, and load it up. It's pretty simple. Yes. This is what, can you do you that? Give me one. The, the one who said, thank you. Okay. I love it too, with the heart. Ah, yeah. Thank you. So, like, is there, a, on the iMac, can you do that? Or Mac, you can do right click, save. Mac? I, just, but I couldn't see that. I'll try mask you know on the mac to right click and save i didn't oh, you, you right click and okay. save save image as and then a, another <clears throat> another screen will come up uh -huh. and you type it in what you want to call it and you look up on your browser to see where you're saving it to oh. and you can save it to your desktop and that's where i usually save my stuff and then i put it in files on my desktop okay so it's easy to find the stuff that you make. Okay. Now that AI is out there, I'm using more AI images, uh, starting to use more AI images, but it's a little more challenging because you have to prompt the AI and knowing how knowing how to prompt AI is a, a learning skill that I don't have quite yet, but I'm learning how to do it. It's a, it's a lot of fun. There's, a, there's a, some real good ones out there nowadays. There's one called Night Cafe, which you might check out. If you like to make make things and uh, or create things, it's an interesting AI gift generator, not GIF, a picture generator, and uh, just um, it's, it's free. And if you want to make more, if you, you know, they'll send you an email, and you can click it and get extra credits, 
And so you can use those credits to create more images for free, which is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Mm. Okay. So I'll, I'll let somebody else speak. I see Cecilia Weir is here. She can speak. We didn't hear her. She she she, she will open the camera. Mm. He's, he's a deaf man, Carmela. Deaf man. Wow. Yeah. Oh, he's a deaf he, man. He uh, a few days ago, he was here. But he can he speak with his hands. You know, he's he's reading the um the captions from Chrome Chrome browser. They have live cc so he reads the post captions but um ah good busy now he will open his camera when he's ready oh see he's got booted oh no he's still here okay yeah yeah he'll open when he can okay thank you, you Carmela. thank you you're so kind thank you Pamela. Uh, you can moderate, honey. You got to unmute. There you yeah, go. unmuting seems to be the way uh, way to go. Then. All right. Uh, who's next on the prices right here? I wonder if everybody... Armin, you're next. I wonder... Can you hear me, uh, Rob? Yeah, yes. Armin. Oh, I just texted, and I saw that my text is delayed as I'm typing deliberately each letter. It doesn't pop up in the uh, text right away. Like there's is like a- Is that on your text. phone? On your phone? Yeah. Me yeah, too, I have the same thing, Armin, same. Like when you type, you have to wait and then it comes up, right? Delayed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, so I, it's good to know that I'm not the only one. <laughs> As that, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's yeah. good. So you and have my to laptop. Type and just know it's gonna come up. Just, just have trust. <laughs> so you just yes. keep typing, and sure enough, it'll come up, but it takes a few seconds. Yeah, I figured that they're probably working on it in the back office. So, but I just want to point that out in case somebody else was having the same issue. Yeah. That's helpful. Thank you. Ah, oh, you're welcome. No charge tonight. Very reassuring. All right, uh, over to Pat Green. You're awful quiet there, Miss Green. I'm mainly listening to what everybody else has to say. There's been a lot of good things said tonight and a lot of good ideas. So that's why I'm so quiet. I'm just mainly listening to everybody else and right, enjoying you're their conversation. there planning. I got it. You're planning. That's it. And I'm not playing solitaire. <laughs> I am not the moderation police. <laughs> <That's Lynn>. Hey. <laughs> That's why I'm so quiet, Rob. <laughs> All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. Man want to say something. You don't see that? See I, her I, man? Hey, 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 hey. Easy, Schwartz. Over to you, Mel. <laughs> uh, Go ahead, Mel. Thank you. No, as... um. As you are talking about the creating G GIF or GIFs or GIFs, if you open your WhatsApp page, in WhatsApp on the message, you will see where it shows create. I don't know if you can see it, but it says create, it's like create a GIF, and you just click on create. It says create AI stickers, and you type whatever you want to generate. It they ask you to put a description. And then you, you just feed it with the description and you create one. You can start that way. Um, like right underneath message, where it's in WhatsApp. Okay, what's the button you click on? So in the WhatsApp button, right where it shows the, the message, um, the, the blank message line. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to tell. I don't know if anybody can see this because it's so lighted, it's hard to see. But anyhow, underneath where you would send a message, Lynn, like in the message um, message window, actually. So just below it, it says create. 
It has the G, the GIF, it has the sticker icon, and then it says create. I just learned that the day of my independence, uh, my country's independence, and I started making GIFs to send to people. When you click on create, it says create AI stickers, and it says describe new sticker to generate. So you feed it what you want to create. So if you want to create a birthday GIF, you can say birthday GIF, and then you create, and it gives you. You can put any anything you want in that little GIF, and then it's 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 easy, very easy to do. Can you? Do I, does anybody see? I I, th I think so. It's where you type in your message. You know, when you want to make a comment to someone, you put your cursor in there, right? Yes. So where you want to send a message, and it's right below. Where you want to type a message. Yeah. And yes. then on the right side, it says, is, is it on the right side of that button? No, well, mine is showing on the left side because I started creating the GIFs and then um, it keeps, that little button stays there, it says create. And then when you click on create, it gives you that part where it says create AI stickers. And it asks you to do, give a description of what you want to create. And then it, you can do little fancy stuff and then voila, it's it's not hard. I just learned it on my own. I just happened to stumble across that little button when I was doing something and I was so proud that I was able to create one. And then I'm now creating this. <laughs> you can't see it, right? I see it. You see it? Okay. In what? Yeah, I've, I've used that before uh, okay. to send people happy birthday. Okay. Kind of thing. Yeah, it 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 has you put in your characteristics, and it kind of makes an avatar of you, and then that avatar appears in all the. Oh the no, areas. not not that part, um, Rob. There's the avatar one. There's the sticker one, and there's the the actual one where you create yourself. You create your own. Your own. Okay, I know which I'll one you're talking that. about. There's Avatar as well. All right, I'll have to look at that. Thank you. You can Google it probably and get the steps to do it. Yeah, it's hard to show on the screen because it's the light with the camera and yeah, it's too it's too shiny. So YouTube would be better, and they have better more more instructions. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. I bet you they have instructions on that. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. That one is a quick send. If you want to quickly make an, an, a sticker for yourself, you can make avatar on it has a little icon for avatar, but if you want to make a quick sticker mm -hmm. or anything, you can just create your own and you can send it off to whoever. As I mentioned, I just learned that um, one of my independence, country independence in November, when Anderson, you know, the brothers and them were saying hello, that's the time I started creating an Whenever I create something, I get so proud that I keep sending. You create and send, create and send. There's what I created, you know. So that's one of uh, that's a little a little goal. That's one of the steps in planning is to step yes. back and take a look at what you did. Yeah, one of the steps in good planning. I wish I could show it more because we, we have to, you know, show, help each other. And what Greg is saying about the the ones he create. Um, there are many, 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 many of them you can open up programs to create um, AI moving characters. There's a lot. I try to venture each, like, different ones to see how I can create something. I was never a creator except little, little things, but now I'm becoming better and better because I practice. It's good practice. Practice makes perfect. Oh, great minds thinking alike there. Where are we going next? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. This is a good time to take a picture because we're all in nice little rectangles, nine of us. So quick, quick before it changes. Everybody, action picture, do something. I'm going to count to three. One, two, three. Yeah, nice. Thank you. That's beautiful. <laughs> Mel is still posing. I was just trying to stretch. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's a pose. 
<laughs> I used one of our picture screenshots that you made, and I made I some. <clears throat> I made a, a GIF out of it, but uh, <clears throat> I was surprised. Uh, I had a lot of views on LinkedIn on it, more than I normally do. That's one thing I, I noticed that on LinkedIn you cannot. Nobody else can see the views that you're getting. So you are the only oh. one that can actually see how many views you're getting. Oh. So it's pretty interesting, though. You, they do have analytics and stuff, so you can see what's you going on. You have to trim it. Then you know how many views you have. Well, I don't like that. You, like you make a link from it, and you trim it. Oh, trim? Yeah. Well, you can do that. Yes. That's, I do everything with all trim now. I love that. Mm -hmm. I put it, every link I have, I trim it. Then I know how many people I click, how many people come in. That's that's why we have the old trim. Yeah, that's part Use of it. it. Yes. It's very useful. <clears throat> good, mm -hmm. Carmela. That's a really good thing to do. Yeah, it's like right. making, you know, QR codes on our old trim. There's not many, in fact, I don't know any URL shortener out there today that offers a QRL uh, ma uh, code maker, uh, I mean, just a QR code maker uh, with any of the, sh the shorteners out there. There's no, none. There's, uh, mm. on past, it's the only one uh, that uh, is carrying this through our O-Trim, which is pretty cool. And I've taken those and changed them around and customized them. And you can do that you just to have to do it and it's only in a certain part. And uh, so you don't mess up the QR code. And then, of course, you have to test it to make sure it, it does take you to where it's supposed to be taking you. <laughs> and uh, I shared that with many people. I think I, I think I might have done a QR code for um, Carmela some time ago, quite a, uh, quite a long, a while back, maybe last year, if I remember right. And I sent it to her in the picture, and it had a QR code. But I used her link uh, and made a QR code with it and, uh, and customized it and then put it on a GIF. For, I enjoy doing that for other people. It's a lot of fun, actually. Uh, oh. David uh, Lavelle, he was an, another one I was pretty fortunate to be able to meet, and uh, really nice person. And he he actually texted me and asked me, "Can you make a gift for my father, <clears throat> who was a uh, in the service?" And uh, so I made a special gift for his family, which was a lot of fun. And that was a great, uh, great thing for me to be able to do to help somebody else with their family stuff. I like that. Nice. Over to you, Carmela. We we have to to make a, a more video calls. You know, you remember? I met a, first time I met a, a Greg here. It was he was in LinkedIn and he asked who wants to come and make with me video call in all mail mm -hmm. and i said i want and then we start to know one each other and we made a video call it was the beginning beginning the all mail comes out yeah every day we did a one email one to each other we t we tested the all mail mm -hmm. and i i fall in love with it it was so easy for me i don't have to type i don't have to write i don't have to do nothing i just sit there and speak <laughs> 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 it was so fun, <laughs> and then after cool. every a, a day after, I get a new message from him. He speak to me, and we did it every day. He speak to me, I speak to him. He speak to me, I speak to him. We test it, and we love it very much. Fall in love with it. It's so easy. It's so quiet. It's so, it's so, it's so. For example, I'm going in in the car. Somebody, I want to uh, uh, put a mail for him. I don't have to type. My English is not so good, but when I speak easy. So I, I do email from my car to everyone I want. It's so easy. These products that uh, 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 Ashmo Farah did for us, such a good products, such an easy one. And it works so nice. And I, and I, through this product, met Greg Hill. Otherwise, I wouldn't met him. <laughs> yeah. And I'm happy to meet you. And we become good friends. <laughs> yeah. 
Mm. For sure. All right. Uh, looks like we're going over to Mel. Mel, let's so swing it on to you. Come on. Why are my hands up still? Okay, I have I have the hands up um, syndrome. <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, I just wanted to tell Greg Hill. I can't take my eyes off your office. It looks so inviting and colorful. No, honestly, I meant to tell you the last time when you said it's um, if my is my office too cluttered. I just love the color of your office. It's very um, there's a name for it. It's it's very nice. I like it. I like the colors. I'm a colorful person, so whenever something catches my eyes, I keep staring at it over and over. So. Thank you. I think you're cluttered. Somebody else is loving what you have, what you <laughs> have behind you. It's a nice office, actually. There's a lot of interesting things there, actually. I, I do what they call repurposing, I, uh, where you I take like headboards and uh, from bed headboards, and I turn them into benches, and uh, just a lot of different things, and uh, I, I enjoy doing that. So there are some things in the background that are that are repurposed. You can't really see it very well here. But uh, it's just a fun, a fun thing to do to to throw stuff away, to turn it into something else, to give it a second life. And uh, you know, I made these things called rooter bottles, where I would take different bottles, and I had fell off a roof and broke my ankle uh, some years ago, and so I had some. I got to keep my hands busy, so I took these bottles and I I, uh, I make uh, I took copper wire and I made it like handles for them and then you put a piece of um plant in it and the plant roots and then uh, you can plant it so i called them rooter bottles and my friends heard about them i had i had laid on the couch for about three months and i made 125 of them <clears throat> so they all came over and started buying them <clears throat> it kind of became popular it was kind of fun so my wife i just noticed has stashed a lot of them away <laughs> wouldn't allow me to sell them <clears throat> i don't know why but yeah, it does look like a stock photo. That's what I I was trying to get. You know the, oh, the stock. One, the one behind, like. yeah. It's pretty. The one behind, I didn't know you could actually see it. It's um, it's an old print. You can't see it very well here. <clears throat> if you look at that, if you look at the, if you look at that piece right there, right on the neck, it's a part of a fan, a fan shroud, and a light. It came from out and it's actually a light. Oh. <laughs> it looks pretty cool when you light it up. <laughs> anyway. It's nice. Thank you. It's catchy. I I catchy for me. <clears throat> my mother Very was nice. an artist. And so I guess I got all my art stuff from her. <laughs> uh, let's go over to uh uh let's see, that would be uh, Miss uh, Patricia Green. Go ahead. Everybody, I wanted to say good night. I've got to get to bed. I've got to work in the morning, but I've enjoyed it tonight and enjoyed the subject. And it was nice to hear from all of you and gave me some really good ideas and some things to work on. Thank you, everybody. I hope you all have a great night. Thank you for being here, Pat. Thank you very much. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. Appreciate you very much. Thank you, Armin. Love you. You're welcome. Love you too. You look a little bit amazing. Bye bye, Pat. Bye bye. Yeah, good I night. Go good night. night. See ya. Oh, I think I, I, I got to get out. I got to get out of here too. Okay. Well, Mary, Mary Lou's just got up there a few minutes ago from sleep, and uh, so I'm spend some time with her tonight. She's okay. Very nice. Good night. Nice bye. to see you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks for being here, brother. Thank you. Hi, Mary Lou. Hey, Mary Lou. Hey, Hi, Mary Lou. Hello. Hi, Mary Lou. Good night, all. Hey. Bye. There's the better Bye, half, Harry. Harry. Bye, bye. There's Harry's better half. <laughs> oh. What a, what a lovely woman you have. Yeah, she's smiling. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I think everybody is, is tired now. I'm I'm tired too. Maybe I'll go to sleep too. And okay. uh, we see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is the question. I will prepare myself. All right. Tonight yeah. was the fifth night of Hanukkah, so tomorrow is the sixth night. Oh. Yes. 
We'll How many you. nights already for Hanukkah? Hanukkah? Uh, tonight was the fifth night. We lit five candles and the shamus, which is. I only eat one. only one donut. Donuts this Hanukkah. One I donut. Said to myself, that's it. No donuts. No, no donuts. <laughs> <laughs> And how many, <laughs> how many nights are there, Rob? Eight. How many nights are there in Hanukkah? Eight. Six, eight, eight nights. Okay, so you got three more left. Great. So Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, Friday. Okay. I, I have no knowledge of uh, uh, what is that, that's all about, but I'm going to figure it out one day. <laughs> but God bless you. Thank if you, you write down in Google, you know everything. What do For I have example, to Google? For I example, was, I was eating today. I'm living in Israel, and there is a city... That I know the name, but I didn't know where it is exactly in the in the country. Today I Google it, and I find where it is, and I know it's in the middle of the country. Oh! Now I know where it is. Before I thought it's in Aza, but now I know it's in the middle of the country. It's not in Aza. <laughs> Israel is interesting, and this is one place I know. The war has ceased, but this is one place I would okay, like to Google visit. It. But one day, we are instead of Google it, we are going to see it on peace, on passive it. Yes, <laughs> on passive it. Don't yeah. Google it. On passive I, it, and everything you find out in on passive. Yeah, I was on the list for Israel, but um, I think what I cannot remember what happened that year. But a group of us, because there's groups who visit Israel, as you know, Camilla. And I, yes. I was on the church group one time. It's a group of where different churches would meet and then they would rent hotels and go visit the sites, you know, like where Moses walked and all those things in the Bible as it is, biblical and visit Jerusalem. But it didn't happen that day, that year. I was eager, I was anxious to go. Very soon we are going to finish that war and you are welcome to Israel. Of course. That'll be great. Pray for us that it will finish and uh, we continue our life quietly. Yeah, it will end. Yes. I can't. I can't think of how nice it'll be to walk in the path that Jesus Christ walked. You know, and uh, I'm amazed. Uh, I understand that Ash Mafara, his father was born in Jerusalem, and Ash Mafara's father, I heard was also a carpenter. Now, isn't that synonymous with Jesus Christ? He was born in Jerusalem, and I think his father was a carpenter. I think Christ was a carpenter. My nephew wanted to know what he should do. When he got out of grade 12, he didn't have a clue, like I didn't have a clue, getting out of school, what to do in life, and who does. So he asked me, he says, Uncle Armin, what do you, I haven't got an idea. What do you think? What should I do? And he, I said, well, I says, why don't you try to be a carpenter? I says, you can have your own business in time. You can, you can be your own boss, have a, all your employees. And you know what? He took that advice. He became a log home builder for five years. Then he told me, and I saw some of the homes he built. Oh, man. You know, if I come into apples, oh, if I come into money, forget the crab apples. I don't want no crab apples. I want money in my old wallet. And uh, if that happens, he's a, a blue seal carpenter. I believe it's a blue seal. And he just told me that about me that a year, year ago. Year. That's amazing. And he's got uh, employees working for him oh, now. He's, working working now. he's got two... Uh, Two children. His wife owns a bakery in town, and uh, they're very, very uh, hardworking people. The Hogs are us Hogs. I, I just googled uh, something and it popped up Hogs uh, grips, like pistol grips and stuff like that. Knives, Hog knives. I, I couldn't believe it. And then I, I scrolled down, and it said one of the Hogs. The Hogs own that company. It's a dynamite co company and one of the hogs crashed the guy's an avid uh private pilot and i guess he was in a race or something and he crashed but anyways that's a little story about my uh, nephew he's a carpenter I'm going and, to sleep. and I, I do that 
I can put everybody to sleep, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm go. tired. I'm Me tired. Too, I... So bye. Bye bye, everybody. See bye, you morning, tomorrow. Good morning, Carmela. Good morning. Good morning. I got to go too. I, I, I got to pick up three co-workers. Uh, well, I don't work there, but they do. Uh, a friend of mine I've known 50 years. I'm going to pick her up and uh, her two co-workers dropped them off at the station. So it's uh, time for me to go as well. All right, Armin. Good night. Good night, yeah. Armin. Uh, Francis, take on in the morning, uh, Rob? Uh, let's see, tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, there'll be... Uh, uh, OES Malaysia tomorrow. OES Eight. Malaysia with Christy Chong. I think oh, it's just Tuesday, okay. Thursday now. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. All right. Nothing on Wednesdays. Oh, he oh. made that switch already? Yeah. Oh, well, thanks. I can sleep in then. <laughs> Sounds like a plan I, to me. I, I got uh, Bell's palsy, and uh, I got a tip today by uh, Francis Tay. And he said, uh, you need lots of rest. Take uh, warm water with ginger as uh, that will help. So, yeah. All right. So I'm on the right path anyways. Good to All see right, you, Greg. Good after it. Good Take care, you. Rob. Good, good night, night Rob. Good night, Melanie. Yeah, good, good night. night. Have good a good one. Life. Love you all. Love you all. Love you too. <laughs> I'm going to keep one eye on the road. Good night now. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm going to go soon to early night tonight because I need rest. Yeah, tomorrow I don't feel tired, but I need rest. Tomorrow is our Q&A, so we'll, we can end early tonight and everybody rest up for a big um, Q&A tomorrow. We have uh, seven panelists, so it'll be a lot of fun and also learning. So I think sometimes it's okay to wrap up early. What do you guys think? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to stop the recording and say thank you to everybody. Thank you to those in the chat. And let me save the chat before I forget. Yeah, thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, Good night, Good night, Good night, Good night Good everybody. Thank you to those who are quietly <laughs> watching and enjoying the, the webinar. We appreciate you. So much. Still Forty in the chat. Forty in the yeah. chat. But I'll I'll turn off the recording and and see who's remaining after the, I stop recording. So bye to all. Good night. Good night, Good night. Rob. Good night.